Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So today is April 17th, 2023. Since we come into Meyer here, they have another one of these deals where you buy one, get one of equal or lesser value for a dollar. That includes Mandarin, three pound bags, Naval Oranges, four pound bags, or Fuji Apples, three pound bags. Now, one thing I just noticed here, regular prices on these are all up. $5.99 for a three pound bag of Fuji Apples. That is up a dollar. Pretty crazy, but uh, $4.99, these were the same price of the Mandarins last week, but those are up from $4.49, and the four pound bag of Naval Oranges were $4.99, now $5.29. So regular prices are all up. But if you buy one of these, you get one of equal or lesser value for a dollar. So if you get the apples, you'll get either one of these for a dollar. One good sale I see here are these giant avocados, giant naval oranges, and pretty good sized mangoes. All of these are 99 cents a piece this week. No extra purchase required. Meyer does have these beautiful looking cantaloupes on sale this week, two for five dollars. You do have to buy two. Uh, regular price for one is three dollars and fifteen cents, which is actually down. These were three twenty nine a piece, so regular price three fifteen. But you can get two for two fifty a piece. That's a good deal. These look good too. It is time for me to restock on peppers here, especially since they're ninety nine cents a piece this week. No extra purchase required. Just 99 cents a pepper. Regular price on these has been right about $1.50, $1.45 a piece, I believe. But uh, 99 cents a piece, cut them up and freeze them. Strawberries continue to be pretty high here at Meyer. $3.49, back up to $3.49 for one pound of strawberries. They do have the blueberry pints on sale for $2.99, down from $3.89. $3.89 now for a pint of blueberries pretty expensive but regular price of raspberries for whatever reason has come down a lot $2.99 for a six ounce package which is okay considering it was $3.99 so this actually come down a dollar I have noticed that all three pound bags of the regular apples that we always go over Granny Smith Pink Lady they actually have Macintosh apples here too um, are $5.99 for a three pound bag. That is up $1 from last week. Each three pound bag is up $1. That is crazy. They do have a three pound bag of Gala apples on sale for $3.99 and a two pound bag of the Jazz apples over here for $2.99. Now the two pound bags of Jazz apples are regularly $4.99, so that's an okay deal. But yeah, apples just keep going up in price. I know they're not in season, but still, $5.99 for a three pound bag of cheaper apples is pretty bad we got a comment about celery now this is the ocean mist celery here at Meyer, the one Meyer sells it is a dollar 79 a bag um and i know you were saying that it's been low in a lot of your stores we've been seeing celery very low also now i will point out that the heads of lettuce are down to a dollar 79 these were a dollar 99 but we're having this case again where it's like they don't look all great. I'm seeing a lot of brown in this supposed to be green lettuce. Well, look at this. There's no price tag on it, but they've got corn on the cob. We're going to have to find out how much this is. I'm going to get a couple. I think me and Jess might be growing out tomorrow. A little chilly today. The weather has really dropped in uh, temperature here, but it's supposed to be 65 and sunny tomorrow. How those look? Those look pretty good. I did just find the price tag here for the corn. It was kind of off to the left, but they are 55 cents a piece. Uh, first grill out of the spring here, which I do grill out from occasion all season long. The weather does not bother me for that. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple because these are fresh. Uh, they had to have just come in. They didn't have them last week. So one thing we want to pay attention to, we're always getting comments, uh, especially on Earthbound Farm. And I do love Earthbound Farms, different greens and stuff. There's been a lot of recalls on this stuff lately, so I know one of them was dull, but it looks like they're starting to get some back in here, but I, I just do not trust these anymore. I would trust these more, um, but they are on sale for $2.99, but that is not the reason why 
these are so empty like this. These are either just not coming in or there may have been a recon. I know there were several different brands that were on a recon. I don't know all of them. I know Dole was one, but you definitely want to check. Okay, so I wanted to come to the actual aisle where the peppers were. The ones up front, I don't know what, you know, they always don't look as good as the ones back here. That could be the lighting. <laughs> no, I, I check them up there, but for, some, for whatever reason, they always look better back here. I really don't know why, but they are 99 cents a piece, guys. And if you like your uh, different colored peppers here, it's the time to stock up. All onions are the same price as they've been here at Meyer for a while. We did see where the three pound bag of yellow onions had dropped uh, from $3.49 to $2.99, still $2.99. They do have the sweet onions bulk. Uh, the big ones here, 88 cents a pound. Now these are gonna be $1.49 a pound, regular price, that is up from $1.29 a pound. So this, this is another price increase here on onions. Red potatoes and yellow potatoes are $2.49 for a three pound bag this week at Meyer. Regular price on these is $3.29. That's the only sale I see on potatoes this week. I will say the russet baking potatoes, eight pounds, eight ninety nine, still the same price, but they do have their ten pound bags of russet potatoes for five ninety nine. So an okay deal here, all considering. They have their ribeyes on sale here for nine ninety nine a pound, regular price fourteen ninety nine a pound. So same as Kroger, uh, guys. Meat is not going to be going down anytime soon. So this is the best set, you know, this is the same price as it was at Kroger, but I will say these ribeyes are a lot better, better quality meat. Um, they do have the 8020 ground chuck Meyer brand on sale this week for $3.99 a pound. This is normally uh, between $4.99 and $5.39 a pound. Um, and they also have the certified Angus ground chuck on sale for $4.39 a pound. Regular price now is $6.39 a pound. That's up from $5.99 a pound. So, you know, it, it is what it is. I know the prices keep going up, but we got to get the sales as we see them because I have a feeling this these are going to really start to skyrocket here soon. Good deal on this purely uh, brand ground pork here, $2.49 a pound on sale, down from $4.59 a pound. This has been the same price for a long time. It's been $4.59 for a while, $2.49. I never usually see a sale on this. Uh, that's pretty good. And they also have, let's see, whole pork shoulder butt or country style ribs. Buy one, get one of equal lesser value for free. So that's pretty awesome. You gotta kinda do the math, make sure it's working out right for you. You know, if prices have gone up on stuff, you really gotta kinda figure it out on how much it is. They have the $1.99 a pound all natural chicken breast on sale which is not in here, but it's regularly $3.09 a pound, so that's not a bad deal. Here we go. Family pack of chicken breast, $1.99 a pound. Yeah, that is a good deal, and it's some of our favorite chicken here. Um, they've got some of the Katie's Best, not as good of a sale as it was. Actually, yes, it's not on sale. I was looking at this like, wait a second, these are the regular prices. See, yep, not on sale anymore. These were on sale uh, $5.99 a pound last week, but that is over. Uh, they've got some chicken wings here. $1.99 a pound. Regular price, $3.49 a pound. So if you're doing some chicken wings, having a grill out or something, $1.99 a pound is a good price. Even if you're not going to eat it this week, buy it up and freeze it. Somebody asked if I would check on some hot dog prices. So um, over here we have the Johnsonville sausages, but you specifically said hot dogs. So let's look at the uh, let's see ballpark here. It's, it's different kinds depending on what it is. If you want the all beef, it's actually... Not that bad of a price, $4.39. These are all the regular prices, though. They do have the Franks here for a little cheaper, $3.79. Ballpark's a good brand. Don't really care much for the Bar S brand, but they are cheap. $1.09 on sale, down from $1.19. But I would rather spend the extra dollar to get, uh, I know, this is, you know, Oscar Mayer. Not big on their deli meat, but their hot dogs are really good. $2.99 here. Um, Kroger, they're usually about $3.79, so you save them on them here at Meyer. Uh, and they do have the Eckrich, um, Eckrich Farms here, $1.85 for these. These are good. Um, I don't normally see too many Eckrich brands at Kroger anymore. I, somebody asked about that a while back. They still sell like the long, like, uh, 
kibasas there, but I, you rarely ever see the hot dogs. Over the last couple of weeks, we've gotten some comments on peanuts. I wanted to wait till we came to Meyer here to check on them. Uh, Kroger prices are getting pretty ridiculous too, but Meyer's is also. But they have a sale on planters this week, $2.49 for many different varieties. They got the honey roasted here that we're always getting comments on. Uh, don't seem to have too much of an issue with it anymore. I know it used to be, couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, they do have the Meyer peanuts. Let's see, buy one. Meyer nuts and trail mix, six to 40 ounces, select varieties, get one of equal or lesser value, 50% off. I'll tell you right now, I'm not a big fan of the honey roasted Meyer peanuts. I would much rather get the planters, but it is a lot cheaper. I mean, actually not too much cheaper, but you do get that deal, 50% off of two of them, so. I've had a couple requests to check some of the like snacks or like chips and pretzels and stuff like that. So I thought I'd go over some of the sales at least. Um, and I know one of you had said Kroger, but we'll be going to Kroger here in a couple days. I'll try to cover some of that when we go. A lot of the Snyders of Hanover pretzels here, two for five. You do have to buy two here. It's not like Kroger where you can just buy one. But these are $3.99 a bag now. So two for five, that ain't bad. So I noticed Sun Chips have gone up in regular price, $4.29. However, they are on sale this week for two for seven. So you can get those for $3.50 a bag. I used to love these. I used to love the Harvest Cheddar here and the Garden Sauce is really good. So Meyer has their chips on sale this week, three for $5. And these are bigger bags of chips. Um, we've tried a few of these, uh, the Puff Corn. I don't really eat this kind of stuff much anymore, but you know, we get comments on these. That's really good right there. Uh, and you can tell this stuff's been selling because they're out of a lot. But uh, they do have some in here and it's a pretty good deal. They do have Coca Cola 12 packs on sale, three for 15 this week. Uh, $5 a 12 pack. Uh, regular price on these is $7.79 now, so a little bit of a deal. They have these eight packs of Powerade Zero and regular Powerade for $5. Uh, that's not bad considering their $6.99 regular price at Kroger, $5.99 regular price here, so regular price a little better. Definitely wanted to check on the Cheez-Its. Someone had left a comment a few days ago that you went into your store and you could not find Cheez-Its anywhere. They were completely wiped out. Kind of, I think you said you thought maybe there might be a recall on them. I don't think so. I looked it up. I didn't see a recall on it, but I will say if you have Meyer, they do have them here, but you can see it is lower than normal here. Um, I don't know if it's, this could be because of the sale, but I doubt it. It's not that big of a savings. Two for $7, though you can get them for $3.50 a box uh, instead of $3.99 a box. So I know somebody had said that they had trouble finding Meyer bread for a while. We did too. Um, it has started coming back in. We've been seeing more and more of it, but yeah, it, we were low or out a couple months ago. Uh, $1.95 is the same price. It used to be $1.79, but all, all store brand breads have been going up in price. But I've tried the wheat. The wheat's really good. Uh, the white bread's good too. Sunbeam was the one that somebody had said you couldn't find. Now, the funny thing is, not really funny, but we could, a couple months ago, we couldn't find this for like a few weeks. I don't know what happened, but it was gone. Couldn't find it anywhere. Meyer, Kroger, Walmart, nobody had it. Uh, it has since come back in, though, and they are $249. That is up from $239. The same price went up at Kroger. It was $239 at Kroger, now $249. So this might be a Sunbeam thing. Not really too sure, but yeah, for the most part, uh, they have plenty of bread here at Meyer, but we will be checking at Kroger too because we have been getting more and more comments that bread has been very low in some of your stores across the country. So we're always getting comments on Nabisco products, and one of those, it's been a while, but I wanted to point this out. The Honey Made Graham Crackers, $4.89 now, which is insane. Uh, they're over $5 at Kroger now, which is crazy. Two for seven on sale, but let me tell you, and I saw this, I wanted to point this out for all of our Graham Cracker lovers. I love Meyer graham crackers. They are just, I personally think they're better than Honey Made and they are a lot cheaper. $3.19 a box. Uh, they got some different kinds here. We've tried these cinnamon sticks. These are good too. $2.39 for these, but they're actually on sale two for six. You get two boxes of them for six bucks. 
Regular price, $3.19, so if you don't want the other one, you're just going to pay another $0.19. Cents. But guys, I'm telling you, we've had a lot of people comment on graham crackers over the last year and how expensive they've gotten. These are a lot cheaper, and these are my favorite. I stay away from this stuff anymore. Um, oh, I've got to say, though, I always like looking at it. But we get comments on these different kinds of things all the time, so I like to point it out it is on sale. All the Little Debbie products, too, for $4 this week. I mean, that's a good deal, considering there are $2.59 a box now. So that brings it down to what the regular price on these was last year, at $1.99 a piece, uh, two for four, and that does include a lot of their donuts. Uh, also, we were talking about Intman's, uh, Intman's donuts the other day. $4.99 here, regular price at Meyer. Now, these have gone from $5.99 to $6.49, some of them $6.99 at Kroger. So, you know, regular price here is way better. I feel like Kroger is just getting unshoppable. It's getting so expensive there. Expensive here, too, from what it was over a year ago, but not like Kroger. Okay, checking out some of the sugar here. Looks like they are good on flour. All the prices are still the same. Sugar here, some people have been asking where the cheapest sugar is. $2.19 for the four-pound bag of Meyer and Kroger's four-pound bag is $2.19 as well. That is the cheapest that I've seen. A lot of other places haven't come down. In just, a lot of places you would think would have come down in sugar prices. They have not. Walmart hasn't, and uh, Aldi hasn't either. Now, somebody asked... If I would check to see the Zolka sugar, which I have not seen in a long time, uh, usually I will usually not mention it if I don't find something, but um, I know you've left me a couple comments on it, so I just wanted to look around. I have checked Kroger, haven't seen it there either, but if you do know where to find the Zolka sugar, uh, let one of our uh, viewers know down in the comments. I have not seen any around here. And to answer uh, two or three more comments that was on another comment uh, from a few videos back, they do have the egg replacer that you use for baking. It is gluten-free of uh, the Bob's Red Mill. It's $4.69 here at Meijer. I've seen it at Kroger every now and then, but it must sell very fast because I rarely ever see it. So Meijer is really the only other place I know that sells that. And Meijer has a very good selection of different Red Mill, Bob's Red Mill products. So uh, if you have Meyer, I know Meyer isn't all over the country. I wish it was, um, but this is a good place to look for a lot of the different ones that we get comments on. Uh, I'm not seeing the flaxseed one, but I do see that. Oh, there it is down there. Flaxseed, someone asked about that one, 419 here. They do sell that one at Kroger, but you do got to kind of look around at Kroger because they will kind of be in different spots. They, they won't be in the same place all the time. We are starting to get more comments on salt, guys. And I'll tell you what, this is the most salt that I've seen here at Meyer in a while. It's usually pretty low here. We saw where it was very low at Kroger. We saw where it was next to none at Aldi. So keep that in mind when you go to the store. If you need salt, you might want to go ahead and just pick up an extra one. I remember it's been a few months, but there were a lot of people all around the country, even around the world. We got a comment in Australia. One of our longtime viewers in Australia was saying they were short on salt also. Um, so it may be something you may want to buy just to have an extra one, uh, just in case we start having another shortage of this, because I, I remember, you know, we were never completely out, but it did get short for a while and they do have the Meyer brand here, uh, 65 cents, you know, just as good as Morton's, uh, Morton's is actually on sale dollar 29. The price did go up to a dollar 39 here. It's pretty much a dollar 49 everywhere else. So a little cheaper here, regular price, but I don't know if you're going to just get the cheaper store brand. Okay, moving on to the coffee segment here. You guys know this is my favorite part of the journey. Uh, someone was asking about Seattle's Best. They do have it on sale here for $4.79 at Meyer for their ground coffee. That is down from $6.49. Regular price keeps going up here, but uh, still not as bad as Kroger. They've got the Dunkin' 20-ounce bags of it here for $12.99 on sale down from $14.49. Uh, they have the containers, the 30-ounce containers down at the other end. Uh, they're not on sale anymore, but they're $20.39. 30 ounces at Kroger's $22.39, so way cheaper here. And they still have the McCafe ground coffee on sale here till Saturday. So you have until Saturday to get this deal. It's been on sale for like a month. $4.39 here for this. 
down from 739. Yeah, Meyer must have listened, guys. Look at this. All of the Frederick's coffee, the smaller bags, the 12 ounce bags, are on sale for $5 a bag this week, down from the new regular price of $8.49. These went up a dollar, right? Regular price is terrible now. But they've got a sale, and this goes in for the next uh, couple weeks here. This goes until April 29th, 2023. These are $5. Good time to try these, guys. I'll tell you what, one of our favorites here is this Michigan Cherry Coffee. This is really good stuff. It's not overly cherry-like. You know, it's just a nice, like a good dinner coffee. Good after-dinner coffee. $5 here. That's a good deal. Matter of fact, I'm buying this. They do have the Frederick's Pods on sale, too, for $5. Regular price on these isn't as much. Uh, make sure you don't get the decaffeinated one unless that's what you want. Um, th but they have the Michigan Cherry in that, too, if you want to try that. I will say this real quick. It's not as good as the ground. I feel like you need to add a little bit more coffee uh, than what they put in the Keurig pods here. Uh, it's just not very strong. Most of you guys know I like strong coffee. But it, it it doesn't have to be too strong, but I just feel like this is very light. So it would definitely be more worth it to try the ground. And it's going to go the distance. Starbucks here. Prices are the same. $10.99 on the ground coffee and $9.49 for the pods. Uh, haven't seen these on sale at Meyer here in a while. Good deal on the different Green Mountain coffees and the original Donut Shop coffee. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe not. I think we went over this late. Yeah, it is. It is. It's just over here. Okay, so $5.99 for these. It's a pretty good deal. Pretty much $8.99 everywhere. They do have sales on the Dunkin' Pods. Um, $6.99 down from $9.49. They got the Tim Hortons on sale. This went up too. This was $7.49, now $7.99. Um, down to $6.99 on the sale, $5.99 for the McCafe pods. Eight o'clock coffee is no longer on sale. I do not feel like that is worth $7.29, but that's what you drink. They do have it. And they have the Meyer blends. Uh, I like the donut shop and I like the breakfast blend. That's pretty much the only two I like of these, but they are $4.49, save a little bit. Bit of a sale on Folgers here this week, $7.99 on the bigger canisters. Well, not the biggest canisters, but these are on sale too, $12.99 down from $14.99. But the smaller ones here, $7.99 down from $10.99 and no sale on Maxwell House. But here's the Duncan I was talking about, regular price $20.39, $22.99 at Kroger. But sometimes you will find these on sale here for right around $19. It was on sale forever for $18.99. Looks like that sales ended though. So the four packs of Chobani are no longer on sale, but they do have the single packs on sale. Five for five, you do have to buy five here. Not like Kroger where you could just buy one, but I recommend it because, well, $1.29 is an okay regular price. These are $1.50 a piece at Kroger. Uh, get them for a dollar a piece here, not bad. I did notice they have their Yoplait sale going back on here. This is on sale for the next couple weeks, 10 for 6. Also, if you're appreciating the work that we're doing on the channel here, do not forget to subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. Give us a like, and feel free to share our videos on your social media to help spread the word on all these crazy price increases, and maybe we'll be able to help save your neighbors some money as well. We do these videos every day to try and help save you guys money does look like Meyer has started to lower some of their prices of Eglin's Best also. We saw that this, that it was kind of crazy overpriced there for a while when all eggs were coming down. Good to see these are four, five nineteen. Regular price on these before the big uh, increase on eggs though was four ninety nine. So only up twenty cents. So that's not terrible, I guess. Uh, twenty four eggs six eighty nine and three fifty nine for the uh, 12 count, these were 349, so only up 10 cents. So I don't feel like, you know, as long as that's all it's, you know, as long as it stays there, but they do have their Meyer uh, large cage-free eggs, 18 count, 419, um, and that's about what it was, you know, I, I remember when they were 399, but that was like a year ago. They've got some of their free range eggs here, 499 for 12, uh, different organic, true goodness organic, that is a Meyer, uh, brand here, but uh, they're you know, uh, every we never had a bad comment on any true goodness product. And their cheapest eggs, the Penny Smart Grade A eggs, 12 count, 
uh, is two dollars and twenty nine cents. Same price as Kroger. Um, yeah, these were when that big uh, egg raising went on. They were three ninety nine a pack, which was cheap for whatever it was everywhere else. Okay, so I had a feeling that this would be going up. I believe Coffee Mate, refrigerated Coffee Mate, went up at Kroger again. But we're going to have to check. It did go up here at Meyer. These were $6.99 the last time I checked for the big Coffee Mate here, the original. These were $6.99 because we were saying these were a dollar cheaper than they were at Kroger. Kroger's had them for $7.99. But we're going to have to check on that. I also noticed that the smaller Coffee Mates here uh, went from $4.29 to $4.49. So a little more here. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, but um, still cheaper than Kroger. Still no butter sales here at Meyer, but I will say Land O'Lakes has dropped in regular price again. Okay, so we saw where they dropped from $6.49 to $5.79 at Kroger. Now they were $6.09 here, making it a cheaper regular price altogether, but they had dropped to $5.79, the same as what Kroger is now. But now they're $5.49. So I guess in a way, yeah, it's a little bit of a sale because it's not $6.09 anymore. Oh, look at this. I just noticed this. Oh, Meyer dropped two regular price. Wow. That's awesome. You guys remember last week these were $4.59 and I was saying Meyer's kind of getting run out the door because all those store brands are dropping in price. $4.09 now. That's 50 cents off. Regular price. Guys, Meyer butter is really good. It really is. We used to get this all the time. Um, but now, you know, because I go to different stores every day, we'll just get whatever we like somewhere where we can find a sale. But yeah, 409 for that, that's I'll take it. Okay, so I came to an end cap here, and I want to show you something that's kind of funny. So these Meyer canned vegetables, all the ones on this shelf here have been 59 cents for as long as I can remember. I mean, I remember when they were 49 cents, but that was a couple years ago. 60 cents a can, so they've gone up a penny. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, maybe a new contract, but that's good because I had a feeling these were going to be going up a lot higher than that. And I'm not saying that they can't go up again, but I'm actually glad to see this, that they only went up a penny. So they changed the price, but it only went up a penny. You know, any, anything less than a dollar these days, I consider a win. I also wanted to note something I missed. $4.99, guys. $4.99 a pound for the certified Angus beef chuck roast. It's, it's hard to find a sale of chuck roast, pot roast, uh, for sale for $4.99 anymore. Usually the sale prices now are like $5.99, sometimes even $6.99. So great deal on that. Um... Good day at Meyer. Lots of good sales. A lot of things that we buy. I stocked up on a lot of stuff. Peppers, uh, some other things. Got some of the coffee. That was a good deal. Five dollars. Those are eight forty nine now, which is ridiculous. But uh, yeah, for the most part, good day at Meyer. Make sure you take advantage of some of these sales while we have it available, because um, a lot of this stuff is probably going to only be going up here in the future. So, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there. <laughs>